The USS Texas BB-35 is a former United States Navy New York class battleship. She was launched on 18 May 1912 and commissioned on 12 March 1914. Soon after her commissioning, Texas saw action in Mexican waters following the Tampico incident and made numerous sorties into the North Sea during World War I. When the United States formally entered World War II in 1941, Texas escorted war convoys across the Atlantic and later shelled Axis held beaches for the North African campaign and the Normandy landings before being transferred to the Pacific Theater late in 1944 to provide naval gunfire support during the battles of Iwo Jima and Okinawa. Texas was decommissioned in 1948, having earned a total of five battle stars for service in World War II and is now a museum ship near Houston, Texas. In addition to her combat service, Texas also served as a technological test bed during her career, and in this capacity, became the first U.S. battleship to mount anti-aircraft guns, the first U.S. ship to control gunfire with directors and range keepers, which is an analog forerunners of today's computers, and the first U.S. battleship to launch aircraft from the platform turret, and was one of the first to receive the CXAM-1 version of the CXAM production radar in the U.S. Navy. Among the world's remaining battleships, Texas is notable for being the first U.S. battleship to become a permanent museum ship, the first battleship declared to be a U.S. National Historic Landmark, and is the only remaining World War I-era dreadnought battleship. She is also noteworthy for being one of only eight remaining ships and the only remaining capital ship to have served in both world wars. She is not, however, the oldest surviving steel battleship, an honor which goes to the 12-year-older pre-dreadnought Mikasa, ordered in 1898 by the Imperial Japanese Navy. Texas's main battery consisted of 10 14-inch 45 caliber Mark I guns, which could fire 1,400-pound armor-piercing shells to a range of 13 miles. Her secondary battery consisted of 21 5-inch 51 caliber guns. She also mounted four 21-inch torpedo tubes for the Bliss Levitt Mark VIII torpedo, one each on the port side, bow and stern, and starboard bow and stern. The torpedo rooms held 12 torpedoes total, plus 12 naval defense mines. Texas and her sister, the New York, were the only battleships to store and hoist their 14-inch ammunition in cast iron cups nose down. In 1916, Texas became the first U.S. battleship to mount anti-aircraft guns with the addition of two 3-inch 50 caliber guns on platforms atop the boat cranes, and the first to control gunfire with directors and range fighters, analog forerunners of today's computers. On 17 May 1945, Texas arrived in the Philippines and remained there until after the Japanese capitulation on 15 August. She returned to Okinawa toward the end of August and stayed in the islands until 23 September. On that day, she set a course for the United States with homeward bound troops embarked as part of Operation Magic Carpet. The battleship delivered her passengers to San Pedro, California on 15 October and celebrated Navy Day there on 27 October before resuming her mission to bring American troops home. She made two round-trip voyages between California and Oahu in November and a third in late December. On 21 January 1956, Texas departed San Pedro via, and steamed via the Panama Canal to Norfolk where she arrived on 13 February and soon began preparations for an activation. On 18 June, she was placed officially in reserve at Baltimore, Maryland. On 17 April 1947, 
the Battleship Texas Commission was established by the Texas legislature to care for the ship. The $225,000 necessary to pay for towing her from Baltimore to San Jacinto was the commission's first task. On 17 March 1948, Texas began her journey to her new anchorage along the busy Houston ship channel near the San Jacinto Monument at San Jacinto State Park, arriving 20 April, where she was turned over to the state of Texas the next day to serve as a permanent memorial. Texas sits just across from the monument at Battleground Park in the waters of the Port of Houston, where she was ceremoniously decommissioned on the 21st. Nine days later, on 30 April 1948, her name was struck from the naval vessel register. Texas was the first permanent battleship memorial museum in the U.S. The USS Oregon was displayed as a floating museum in Portland, Oregon from 25 to 41, but was scrapped in 1956. When the battleship was presented to the state of Texas, she was commissioned as the flagship of the Texas Navy. Sea Fever by John Masfield. I must go down to the seas again, to the lonely sea and the sky, and all I ask is a tall ship and a star to steer her by, and the wheels kick and the wind song and the white sails shaking, and a gray mist on the sea's face and a gray dawn breaking. I must go down to the seas again, for the call of the running tide is a wild call and a clear call that may not be denied. And all I ask is a windy day with white clouds flying, and the flung spray and the blown spume and the seagulls crying. I must go down to the seas again, to the vagrant gypsy life, to the gull's way and the whale's way with the winds like a wetted knife. And all I ask is a merry yarn from a laughing fellow rover, and quiet sleep and a sweet dream when the long trick's over. You need to subscribe to this channel. You need to subscribe to this channel. You need to subscribe to this channel. Subscribe to the Artistic Biker now.